Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. A few days ago, we got our first rumors for the Summer 2023 Superhero sets. We do have Marvel and DC sets on this list, but there are only two DC ones, so I'm going to be focused a little bit more on Marvel. And most of these are coming out in August 2023, but a couple of these are June releases, like the buildable figures. So going through the list quickly first, we have 76249 Venomized Groot, 630 pieces for $50. We've got 76257 Wolverine, 327 pieces for $35. 76258 Captain America, 310 pieces, $35. 76259 Batman, 275 pieces, $35. Those are the three buildable character sets, like the new Ant-Man that was just revealed. Then we have 76260 Captain America and Black Widow Bike Chase, 130 pieces for $15. 76261, this is a set that most people are going to be very excited for. It is the No Way Home Statue of Liberty Final Battle, 900 pieces for $100. 76262 is going to be a buildable Captain America Shield with 3,128 pieces for $200. And 76265 is a 1989 Batwing set with 357 pieces for $35. Now, let's go through this one by one. So, Venomized Groot, it's just a weird idea. Like, like if you saw my review of the 2021 buildable Groot set, you'll know that I thought the figure looked pretty good, but the articulation was awful, it was so top-heavy, it would just fall over and break all the time, and Venom Groot is not like a thing in the MCU, which is like, like what LEGO primarily makes stuff off of, because the MCU makes Marvel things popular in the public eye. LEGO was doing Venomized minifigures for several characters a couple of years ago, but they haven't done it lately, and while I know that Hot Toys made like a Venomized Groot figure, and I know it's something that happened in like an animated TV show, it just seems like a really weird choice for a LEGO set to me, and like, did the last Groot set sell well enough to warrant this? I don't really think so. I also think it's weird that it's cheaper than the last set because I would expect it to be more elaborate, so I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I don't really think I'm going to like it. I mean, I'll still buy it if it looks cool, but otherwise that might be like the first Marvel set in years that I actually skip. The buildable figure sets sound interesting, but I'm not really sold. I actually really like the buildable figures for the most part. I think that they're very well designed, and I really liked the Spider-Man ones. I think the biggest problem is always just like the faces. And the faces are a major issue here, because it's cool to see Wolverine getting one, and Captain America, but like, human-style heads have never worked well for any of these, like, construction figures that LEGO has made in the past. Just look at the ones from 2012, or even the Star Wars ones really rubbed me the wrong way. So I think that only fully helmeted characters should be getting action figures like this. I also hate the prices here. All three of these buildable figure sets are $35. I thought the $25 price point for the Spider-Man ones were perfect. $30 for Ant-Man? That's still okay, but $35 is now just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't think the value for money is going to be there in terms of the size of the figure, and definitely not in terms of the piece count for a figure like Batman. So yeah, I, th I think Wolverine might end up looking okay, but I think that Captain America and Batman are just not going to look good, and I'm worried about that. I am pretty excited for the Captain America and Black Widow bike chase set. I'm really hoping that this is an Infinity Saga set, and it's based on Winter Soldier. A lot of these rumors came from Brick Clicker, maybe all of them, I'm not 100% sure, but he did say that Captain America and Black Widow would both be getting motorcycles in this set. That's a little confusing because they've never had a scene in the MCU where they're both on a motorcycle, like at least to, to the best of my knowledge, and I know the MCU pretty well. Um, it could be based on Age of Ultron because Black Widow did have her iconic bike scene in that movie. But honestly, I would really like this to be Winter Soldier based. I would love a Captain America figure in his stealth suit, and it'd be nice to get Black Widow with a different hairstyle. Although, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if they just reused like the body of the minifigure from the new Quinjet. But I'm excited for this set because I always love the Batman bike chase sets, especially like the new one from the Batman movie. That, I think, was an excellent $15 set. Like, I even bought a second one just to keep sealed because I like it so much. So if the Captain America one is anything like that, I'm going to be really happy. Then we've got the set that everybody is going to be the most excited for. Yes, we are finally getting one spoiler No Way Home set. I'm very surprised by this. Not the fact that we're getting it. I mean, it has taken almost two years. But, I mean... Hey, better late than never. I'm still happy. What I'm surprised by is that LEGO is not doing like three smaller sets. They're just doing one big $100 set with every main character, which is something that I never would have expected from them. 
But this set does have 900 pieces for $100, but it's also got nine minifigures. So I'm expecting the build to be absolutely minuscule because in like the new Quinjet set, that's $100 and it's like 700 something pieces with five figures. But apparently the build of this set is going to be the head of the Statue of Liberty and some scaffolding with a brick built Sandman. The nine minifigures we're getting are Tom Holland's Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, Ned, MJ, Doctor Strange, Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Electro. There's no word on Lizard. If LEGO skips him, I think that that will be disappointing because we won't have like the complete lineup of characters. But honestly, I don't care about Lizard that much, so I'm not personally offended by it. And we're getting nine minifigures, so I'll be happy either way. Now here's the weird stuff. How is LEGO going to do? Like with today's budgets and with how half-baked so many of their Marvel minifigures are, how are they going to do all of these minifigures justice in a $100 set? Look at the Sanctum Sanctorum. I think that had like nine minifigures for $250, and half of those minifigures were hot garbage. Like the Iron Man and Spider-Man minifigures were nice, but like Scarlet Witch was half finished. Um, what's like Ebony Maw was like just like phoned in. I'm really wondering how LEGO is going to give us good, like nine good minifigures in a set like this. So the Tom Holland Spider-Man will totally be a repeat of the integrated suit from the Sanctum Sanctorum. Doctor Strange will definitely be a repeat of the of not the integrated suit of his suit from the Sanctum Sanctorum. Or if they get really lazy from Multiverse of Madness, Ned and MJ can use existing pieces, which will be a little bit lame, but like whatever. At least we'll be getting them. But we need head-to-toe printing for Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. And LEGO is very stingy with Marvel-like printing, so they need to do, do those figures justice. Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Electro, I think all also deserve leg printing and new face prints. So that would be like five totally new minifigures for a $100 set. And I mean, again, like the Quinjet, I think, had five new minifigures, so LEGO can theoretically do it. But I mean, not everyone in the Quinjet had leg printing. So I am interested in seeing how LEGO pulls this off. The other thing is the build. The head of the Statue of Liberty sounds great. A brick-built sa Sandman sounds awesome. I don't really need a minifigure of him because he pretty much looks the same, like whether it's comic or movie version. The thing is that I would have really liked the shield of the Statue of Liberty because that's where Tom Holland had his final battle with Green Goblin. So that's a little bit disappointing to not be getting that, but it's still really nice to be getting everything in one $100 set instead of like one $200 set or a bunch of smaller ones. Now we come to a set that I personally am very excited about, and I'm honestly shocked that more people aren't. Captain America's shield. 3,000 pieces. $200. This is what I've been waiting for from the LEGO Icons theme. Ever since LEGO started pumping out giant 18 plus display pieces, I've been waiting for something like this. Because like the Black Panther bust and the Hulk buster I think were two major misses from LEGO Marvel in 2022. There are okay ideas that I think were just executed really, really terribly. And I mean, this set could be executed really, really terribly. But from piece count and price, I'm feeling pretty good about it. $200 is a lot of money for a buildable shield, which is why I fully expect it to be life-size. I want to be able to display this with the Thor's Hammer set from 2022. And I want them to look really, really good next to each other, because that was life-size. And that set was a pretty good build, except for the fact that the hammer was so plain with like no printed decoration. So Captain America Shield, I think that they can brick build the star and the stripes, and like that's all you need. You don't I don't want like wear and tear or something like that on it. I just want a good looking buildable Lego shield. There is a custom one out there that I've seen before and that I really like. I don't know how many pieces are in that one, but I don't think Lego would do something quite like that. That's like very rough and studded, and LEGO's been moving more and more towards like fully smoothed over display pieces recently. So I'm expecting LEGO to try to smooth over the shield in some way. So I'm really interested to see what the finished thing looks like, like how smooth it is versus how studded it is. And people were complaining about the price. They're like, oh, this set should be $100. Like, like why? Why would you want a $100 Captain America shield? Thor's hammer was already $100. If they did a Captain America shield at that price point, it would be the size of a dinner plate, and that's not what I want. I want something that is life-size or close to life-size. So I'm very excited for this. To me, this is like exactly the kind of 18 plus set that we should be getting from the LEGO Marvel theme. Like other stuff that I would love to see would be like buildable infinity stones, like a huge buildable infinity gauntlet one day would be really, really awesome. But these are the kinds of display pieces I can get behind, so I'm really, really excited to see this one revealed. 
Then finally, 76265 is the 1989 Batwing. That is uh, our second DC set on this list. I think it's really cool to see a, a minifigure compatible version of it because we got a Batwing that looked similar to the 1989 one in like 2019, but it obviously was not based on that movie. And we are getting a poly bag based on 1992's Batman Returns movie, like a minifigure poly bag this year. So it's great to see LEGO revisiting the older Batman movies. I have not watched them, unfortunately, but I really need to because the, uh, the 1989 Batmobile set is like one of my favorite LEGO sets ever. Like I just think it is so well designed. And of course, we've got Michael Keaton returning in the new Flash movie. So I think it's very timely that LEGO is making this. It will include minifigures of Batman and the Joker, which sounds perfect to me. And I think it's going to be a really cool build. Plus, we are getting a set based on the Flash movie with a Batmobile in it, and I'm assuming it's the 1989 Batmobile because, like, that's in the trailer and everything. So if that's the case, those two sets will also pair well with each other. So I'm excited to see that one, too. Um, really, I think, like, the only things I'm not excited for on this list are the non- minifigure scale sets besides Captain America's shield. Like, I just think Venomized Groot is a stupid idea, and I think doing doing more buildable action figures is a great idea, but doing them of human, non-helmeted characters, or non-enclosed helmet characters, that's what I think is dumb. So we'll see how all of these sets look. I'll probably still pick all of them up, but I don't know. Like I said, Venomized Groot might be, like, where I meet my line on buying every LEGO Marvel set. So let me know what you guys think about these sets in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.